Go ahead. Hey guys, so we're gonna make this an intro. I've just been taking clips of toy stuff that we've been going through. Not today, just because as you guys can see, I'm buried. I've been trying to price down here so we kind of like open up a workspace so we can process all this. It's been super, super crazy. Watch our football card videos, basketball card videos. But I'm gonna start this video. I just seen something on the bottom of this box. So I haven't looked at any of this stuff. Can you see in here? Actually, I'm just gonna pull it out. I haven't touched it yet. I don't know if it's empty or not. But it says, I'm guessing this is 70s. Oh, it's not empty. Check this out. Ooh, Space nice. Chase. Make sure to watch the entire video because I found some vintage Star Wars stuff, some different things. So holds up to 24 space figures, including Star Wars, Shogun Warriors, Galactica, and Metal Man. I don't even know what Metal Man is, but let's see. It's actually really good condition. I bet you that case is worth 20, 30 bucks. Ooh. Ooh, Star Wars. Nice. More vintage Star Wars. Me? Java with the cape. So which one is rare? Is it the, the vinyl star? It's just yeah, the rare. vinyl one, yeah. It is not vinyl. C-3PO. But these are all original Star Wars. Great condition. Here's the one. Um, so I think the bigger one. That's one version of this that's really rare. Not great condition. Look at the inlay. Oh, so. there you go. Complete Yoda. Oh, I man. Check the Boba Fett. No, you had oh, a the telescoping. Yeah. So... Oh, I don't. There. I don't think that's it. Is that's it? That's it. Yeah, it's telescoping. No, I think telescoping means the laser telescopes too. I gotta look it up. I forgot. But look, the Yoda with the snake. Not a loop. Check for the rocket on the Boba Fett. Man, look how what nice condition this. Dang, then look at his cape. That's nice. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, that's not the telescoping one. I think. Doesn't it have two stages. Yeah, and it doesn't. So this is only has one. Oh, okay. I thought I saw two. So some of these I'm even thinking about sending in to get graded with AFA. I have some other ones that are packed. Check that Boba. But look right here. I mean, this is... You know what? I was just thinking. I forgot. I was thinking this was part of the big Star Wars deal, but this is the warehouse deal. But what do we got right here? We got uh, a dozen. And um, a dozen here. Plus one, two, three, four, five. So we got 29, 30 figures. You know, they're probably going to average close to 20 bucks a piece. We just pulled out a $600 case. How sweet is that? Check the Boba Fett real quick. It's not going to be it. <laughs> no. Justin's having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> and there uh, you go. Uh, but awesome still good. Yeah. yeah. So this is awesome. This was great that we just opened this box. So, And you know, like my girls were packaging. They, they don't know about the stuff. But I've seen this case right away. That's cool. I've never seen this case before. That's cool case. You know, I might keep that case. I think it's just cool. Right. I'm not supposed to keep stuff. but. Yeah, so we're gonna take this. Uh, I'm gonna take this to my home office, bag them all up, price them, bring them in. I have about 500 new Star Wars figures that have come in. But if you guys are watching this video, it should come out Sunday. We've been spending all day today, Friday, um, and we're gonna spend more time on Monday and Tuesday. No, Tuesday we close, but on Monday I'm gonna price more figures. We put up all kinds of figures. So let's watch the rest of the videos. There's some really cool finds coming up. And what I'm doing in this video, it's just gonna be like a lot of clips of boxes, 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 like, um, this is some of the stuff that's going online. Check this out. I just pulled this one. Marvel Legends. Three-piece figure. They're like 100 bucks on eBay. You know, uh, Cobra Eel. 35 bucks. I got a whole bunch of this series of the Conans right here. Um, I had them in the store for like 20 bucks. They don't really sell, but on eBay they sell well for 30 And every, every, everything that we put up sold. This one I was a little bit surprised. Uh, Luke Skywalker was losing here. Oh, it's just Yoda stick. Um, you know, it brings like 50, 60 bucks online. So we have a whole bunch of boxes here, 1499s, more Simpsons, X-Men stuff. Let's see if there's anything else. There's some Hot Wheels sets in here. These I would sell well. You know, these are usually 20, 30 bucks. We're gonna look them up really quick. That's a nice American set. This might be a little bit more. So we'll look these up. And guys, when I say prices on video a lot of times, we still research it. I'm just giving you a rough, quick price, what I think. But let's get go back to pricing. Let's look at some more stuff. So guys, we just totally scored. Check these out. Eva Collapulse. So these are part of that $11,000 deal, which you're probably watching that video. But check this out. So these sell for 60 bucks a piece. I have three and two is five of them. But then this one right here, check this out. This is the score. We got two, 12. We have 16 of them. Oh, these are actually different. So uh, there's a couple different ones apparently. Let me see. So, but these right here, the Ewok Scouts, they're 60 bucks and they're selling. And I'll be the cheapest at 60. We'll do $59.99, $10 shipping. Most of this should be those same Scouts. I got to double check. Um, I haven't looked these up yet. So, but probably same thing, the vintage uh, exclusives. But they're 16 times 60. What's that? 600, 
900 so almost a thousand bucks plus to five so twelve hundred dollars just in one box and when i bought the deal i didn't put much value there's a whole bunch of black series in here too and a whole bunch of uh these trilogies which are 20 bucks a pop good box folks good box all right guys this is a money box all the stuff will sell well in here actually digimon i have to look it up but i think i put a bunch of these aside for ebay here hulk disc launcher it's kind of cool uh batman monster truck that's probably gonna be good so a lot of this monster truck stuff you have to look up i mean it's really popular but a lot of it is just like um if you find a grave digger stuff the green grave digger and there's kind of one down there a lot of that stuff is priced crazy so you want to look for that i don't know these customs I mean, these these hot little infernos I haven't scanned them yet, but I'm guessing these are probably like 15, 20 bucks. And then, you know, you want to check them because certain ones are a lot more. Here's a Halo. I've never had this, and we sold a lot of Halo figures. So that's a new one. Let's see, there's a stack of something down there. Oh, more tech decks. So we'll sell these. These sell well. This has three in there. It's Target exclusive, so it might be good for online. I don't know. We'll see. So we're just pricing stuff. Yeah, just putting all these Star Wars out. Showed those a second ago, I think. Look, guys, I just looked at this back right here. Check this out. Pest candy dispensers. We're all familiar with them. But look at this. 1985. And a bunch of them are falling apart and are open because they're just so old. Uh, this is stuck in something. Hold on. Okay. But here. Bugs Bunny in package. 1985. Same thing. 1985. Sorry. I hope I got that on video good. It's kind of falling apart. But there's other stuff in here. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I'm going to have to put these out. This one looks even older, to be honest. This is awesome. Kermit the Frog. Too bad they're falling apart. I'm going to take these home carefully. And see, like, these might be worth, like, we'll try to clue some of these and just tell people that they're put back together. That's a good bag. This is a fun bag. People like that stuff. Look, guys, this, I just pulled out of a box. I put it in this plastic case, but it was just sitting in the box. You guys were just looking at it. was not a little plastic bag. Just sitting with modern stuff. This is 1983. And has some of these extra cases, so I'll put it in to protect. Squid head. Nice piece. I'm pricing like crazy. These right here, 60 bucks a pop on eBay. At one time, you could have bought them for clothes at five bucks. I got a whole box in right here. Some hair. Play school hero pots. That's their special package. Treasure hunt. Hot Wheels treasure hunt. But there's like 10 of these bottles in here. I already put some in here. All this stuff in this box is going online. I usually try to keep stuff 30, 40 bucks online. Or if I have a lot of it, just kind of find a happy medium. $20 box. For the store. Ten dollar box for the store. That little alien down there is a good deal. Ten bucks. I'm just pricing away. Exo squad stuff. And then we sold all the Robotech stuff you probably seen earlier in the video. And we just reloaded this. So you can see it good priced all this and one of my guys who always buys from us he's already gonna come in so he's probably buying a lot of this stuff robotex and then um the star wars stuff over there we sold a lot of it you probably gonna see it early in the video these two sideshow figures somebody's come pick those up friday and then now i'm putting at all these masters of the universe i haven't decided a price yet but it's probably gonna be ten bucks each or less. I gotta see what they go for now. Like I was thinking first bucks, five bucks originally, but I think they go for more. But these are kind of like a little dirty. But let's see what they go for. They'll, they'll be five to ten bucks. Oh, and check this out. Et 1982. Go watch this. So you got your pouch 1982. Just somewhere in here. And then you got your Et eraser. Your ET keychain. 
and your ET ruler. I would have been five years old when this came out and I might have had something like this. Actually, I did not Star Wars, but I could have had something like this. Kind of cool in a way, huh? Put out, these were two side shells. If you saw the original video, I didn't really put much value, but actually I should get about 200 a piece on those. Somebody just offered me 300 for the pair, but that's too low. I mean, I can get 200 each on eBay easy. And then Cantina, Droid Factory. Most of these are pretty much complete too, by the way. Nice do back. Some nice stuff. This is all Cheryl's personal collection, right, Cheryl? Uh, yes, my personal collection. <laughs> my favorite. So I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this existed, but this is like brand new inside. It's never been removed from the box. Just the outer box. You know, some people were getting upset because we had mint on this sign. They said, it's not mint. I'm like, we're talking about the inside, Fulios. <clears throat> you know, this B-Wing never has been out of the box. Has all the paperwork, stickers, not, not appealed. And you know, I don't have to describe the box in the sign because you kind of can tell that the box is not mint. But that triggered some people. So if you were one of those people on Facebook that got triggered, got I apologize. That cool old look to Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think I showed that one yet. Yeah, yeah oh, I how love. cool that is. That's, I love that one. Uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite packagings right yeah. there, I think. Imperial Transport. Absolutely. So, cause I just like the red. But I like these little ones too. So a lot of these little ones, those are stuff that Kenna came up with that what actually wasn't used in the uh, movie. They just kind of expanded the toy line. All right, let's go look at more stuff. It's down there already priced. So just the cases, those are Protex, they're good quality cases. They're 20 bucks by themselves, so you actually got a really good price on the figures. How you doing, my friend? Fine. Cheryl, will you ring up this young man? Of course. So some cool stuff. I just pulled this one out. Um. I wonder if this comes from like Mattel Archives. Look at the sticker. Historic Archive product may not be resold for personal employer. I, I wonder if this is from uh, Mattel Archives, but this is 1973 brand new sealed. Once sold in 2011 for 250 bucks and has none been, at least according to Worth Point on eBay. So I'm probably gonna put like 500 bucks on this and just see what happens. Okay guys, there's a Y-Wing up there in the original box. And um, remember I just showed you that Mattel piece? Here's another one. Again, it's from the archive. I'm pretty sure that was sold from Mattel. And a lot of times these old companies at a certain time, they were going through the old saves of stuff that they had. And see it says for an employee only, not for resale. This is also brand new sealed. I haven't looked this up yet, but I'll bet you it'll be pretty hard too. And I'm pretty sure I took a video that's super fast down there right so this is hot wheels oh shoot stuff is crashing so we just got this one we unboxed that it's complete inside it's not it doesn't have the instructions but the ship has all the pieces that we can see and somebody uh, is picking this one up for 200 say hi nana hi <laughs> at least he's supposed to so but we're holding it for one day for one of my guys that saw it if not it'll be in the store for 200 which is a good deal Wee's playhouse Brand new sealed. Another cool piece. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys seen this box before in a previous video, but these are all wrestlers basically. I looked at one day, they, they were Jacks, 1999, so I'm probably in that area, probably give it a year or two. This one feels different. Jacks, 98. So we'll probably just put these in the store. We'll do like, I don't know, five or six bucks a piece. We'll have a little grab box right at the entrance and they sell fast. All the kids were like little restless as five bucks. And actually a lot of people collect them, so no problem. I have to, I mean, obviously I'm gonna double check really quick, make sure nothing is super crazy. I'm not gonna look up everyone. I'll just see what the highest is. So these will go at five bucks a piece. That's probably 40 of them in there, $200 box, another winner. Micro notes. So I don't look at a soul, but asking it was 75, so hopefully we'll get 30, 40, 50, 60, who knows? And I haven't checked these yet. I don't know if these will go online or just in the store. It's a pretty good online. And Electra, she's usually in the store. And then I keep on finding these wing things. That brand, guys, wherever you see, just buy it. Phil, somebody just asked me about this or just told me about it with the belt with Hulk Hogan on it. 
They're like 200 bucks on eBay. That's really cool. And then here's some stuff that I'm probably just gonna list online. 55 bucks, 60 bucks. Haven't checked this one, but they're usually 50. All the stuff we'll probably just throw online. Cause I have so many toys I need to just pick separate it. And then here's a box of $15 toys, $5 toys, $10 toys, $20 toys. So we got a bunch more done. There's some Kiss stuff that's coming in the store. Another Hulk Hogan, another Marvel Legends, some different Marvel stuff. There's some old Simpson figures I'm going to have to price these so it'll be out a little bit. And then we've been selling Beanie Babies like crazy. So I just purposely ducked towards the Beanie Babies where I knew where some were. And I got a whole cart full of Beanie Babies and Bambino Bears and stuff like that.